welcome to Highcore Biomedical. We've created a series of videos to present a step-by-step -step introduction to the Novius Analyzer, which is a breakthrough technology device in allergy diagnostics. In these videos, you will learn how to operate the instrument, including maintenances and how to set up a run. So, here we go. Top Deck Rotors This is the sample rotor. It is cooled to 5 to 15 degrees Celsius and has a removable carousel which has 60 positions for samples and reagents. In the middle of the top deck is the reaction rotor which is covered by a splash guard plate as well as by a cuvette hold-down plate. The reaction rotor is heated to 37 degrees Celsius and it houses 20 different arcs which are comprised of 10 individual cuvettes. On the right-hand side of the top deck, we have the reagent rotor. It is cooled to 3 to 9 degrees Celsius and features 150 positions for our allergens, also known as capture reagents and our common reagents. For easy loading and mass storage, it features removable wedges. This is the fluobead position. It has a built-in vortexer and can hold two fluobead tubes. Top deck arms. The top deck also features six different arms which have various features to facilitate the automated ELISA. The single probe arms are responsible for pipetting samples and reagents into the cuvettes. They feature liquid level detections, as well as an automated mixing mechanism. This is the sample arm. It pipettes the samples from the sample rotor to the reaction rotor. Here we have two arms that wash the cuvettes throughout the course of the essay. The multi-rinse arm that does 10 cuvettes at once, and the mono-rinse for single cuvette washing and stopping the reaction. This is R2, which pipettes the substrate into the substrate mix container at the very beginning of the assay, and then pipettes capture reagents into the cuvettes. R1 pipettes fluobeads, capture reagents, and conjugate into the reaction rotor. This is the optics arm, which is dedicated for optics readings at the end of the assay for results. Lower deck. The lower deck can be accessed through the press to open doors. On the left hand side, we have four waste containers able to collect the waste of a 700 test run. After disconnecting the containers, the drawer can be pulled out for easy access to the containers. After emptying the waste containers, just put them back in the drawer. Close the drawer and reconnect the connectors. On the right hand side, you will find the source containers. Three for deionized water and one for wash buffer. These containers are also placed in a drawer for easy access. To refill the containers, 
Simply open the caps and refill by using a funnel or disconnect each container to refill outside of the instrument. The cuvette wash container is located above the DI water and wash buffer container and can easily be taken out and disconnected for refilling. All containers in the lower deck are positioned on scales which provide the information about the filling height to the instrument's monitoring device in the software. Maintenances. There are three periodic maintenances, daily, weekly, and monthly. The daily maintenance consists of one test performed by the Novius. It is called the fluidics test, and it takes about 15 minutes. The operator's presence is not required during this process. The weekly maintenance consists of tasks that are performed by the instrument, but also tasks that require operator hands-on applications, such as cleaning the probes, top deck, rotors, and changing the optics tip. Just follow the instruction on the screen. All in all, the weekly maintenance takes approximately one half of an hour, but the presence of the operator is not required for all tasks. The monthly maintenance consists of two tasks with regard to the software, a database cleanup, and a check for errors. Green check marks indicate that the individual tasks within the maintenance procedures and also the complete maintenance were successfully completed. Reagents. Here we see an overview of all the reagents needed. We will start with the common kit, which contains diluent A, conjugate, the fluor beads, and substrate A and B. Here we have the calibrator pack. Six calibrators are included in the concentration of 0.07 to 100 KUs per liter. To create a calibration curve, you also need the calibrator antibody pack as the corresponding capture reagent. Lastly, we see here the allergens, also known as capture reagents, for the detection of specific IgE these are color-coded according to the allergen subgroup. Instrument monitoring. Briefly, we can see the upper and lower deck as well as the sensor status. Just like on the instrument itself, it shows the waste container on the left and the system fluids on the right. The sensor status provides information about the activities that must be performed before starting an essay. When everything has been refilled or emptied, the Novius is now ready and an essay can be started. Loading the sample rotor. The sample rotor has 60 positions, 52 positions, and 10 container positions. Along with the samples, the sample rotor also houses calibrators, controls, and diluent A. As you can see here, the rotor itself can be taken out of the Novius for easy loading. When loading the sample rotor, it is important to turn the barcode labels outwards for a smooth scanning process. Loading the reagent rotor. The reagent rotor has 150 positions, including 10 container positions. It consists of five individual removable segments that can be removed for simplified loading or storage. The rotor is loaded with substrate A and B, conjugate, calibrator antibody, and the allergens, also known as capture reagents. It is also important to load the tubes with the barcodes facing outwards in a clearly legible manner. Loading the beads. Here you can see where the beads are loaded. The Novius has room for two tubes. It is important to vortex the beads before loading them into the Novius. Starting an essay. Check the instrument monitoring system, and if necessary, refill the system fluids or empty waste. Perform daily maintenance. Load the sample rotor. Load the reagent rotor. 
Vortex the beads. Scan barcodes and missing reagents if necessary. Check the status and warning bars. When everything is green, you may start the essay. You can always be sure HiCore will provide high quality professional service. HiCore, improving lives.